Be quick. Welcome back to Pregame.tv. I'm your host, Marco D'Angelo. Joined in studio, Ken Thompson, SportsX Radio, and Brian Leonard, sport and spring, <laughs> spring training gear. Well-dressed guy as usual, Brian. Uh, we're going to take a look at so, this. This is black tie affair for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> you know, he invited me to dinner after we do videos, and now I'm worried where we're going. <laughs> You know where we're going. It's the place with a coupon. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to look at Sunday basketball. UCLA uh, plays Oregon State. Uh, Ken, this is going to be your uh, video. Stepping in front of UCLA, not uh, not a wise choice. At excuse me, actually, this is at UCLA. I had it backwards. Oregon State at UCLA. Stepping in front of this team at home has not been a wise move this year. Uh, UCLA 15 and one straight up at home. More importantly, usually with a marquee team like UCLA. Winning doesn't always translate into point spread winners because you're generally laying a tariff with a team like that. But they're still 11 and four against the spread. We're taping on Thursday. They have a big game tonight against Oregon. What do you make of this team? Alford's good, solid coach. With Arizona losing Ashley, UCLA to me is a co-favorite because Arizona's rebounded now without Ashley their last couple games. So they've kind of weathered the storm. They struggled in a couple games right immediately after losing him. So I have uh, UCLA right there even par going into the Pac-12 tournament with uh, Arizona. Brian, you look at this UCLA team, and the one characteristic that I see immediately different from what we saw before, one, their offensive, you know, they score. You know, Ben Holland, you know, I mean, had him at Pitt. He brought the same program to UCLA. It's like watch paint dry sometimes, you know race to 60 and, and make sure they don't score 61. It, they didn't have that killer instinct. They didn't have the offense to put teams away. Alford's not taking his foot off the, you know, the gas pedal whenever he gets a lead. Yeah, he's a great coach, and we saw that when he was in New Mexico. And, you know, UCLA played one of the tournaments here at the Orleans earlier this year, so I had a chance to see him a couple of times. This is one talented offensive team. I mean, you take a look at, in the big dance, teams that can run. UCLA, based on who they get a chance to play, they probably have the better offensive talent than just about anybody in the country. So matchups could, you know, they can go pretty far matchup wise. But then again, you don't have the great, many great defensive teams in that conference. So if they run into a Virginia, a team of that sort, a team that plays Big East basketball, physical basketball, maybe a little bit different for them. But this is a team that you may be on, you know, the people like to play futures. Depending on the matchups, you might be able to get a pretty good run out of UCLA in the tournament. Well, they went they went back east to New York. They played against Duke right there in neutral court, tied at the half at 37, but they were jet lagged and they wore down. I had Duke in that game. Uh, they also went to Columbia, Missouri, and they hung right in that game. Tough environment. Uh, that was their first road game of the year. So they have talent. Uh, coming from a buddy of mine, Mike Klan, that covers Santa Barbara, when the Gauchos went to Pauley Pavilion and played there, Alan Williams, who destroyed UNLV here, and a big physical guy, gave UCLA fits. And that was a good point. Uh, if they run into somebody like a Michigan State, bad matchup right. for them, somebody that's big and physical, those Big Ten teams or some of the other physical teams, could be tough if they don't try to run with UCLA. Like Iowa, they'll probably run with UCLA, but some of the other Big Ten teams, they won't, and that could be a problem for UCLA getting second shot opportunities. No problem. Well, this is a revenge game, too. Oregon State pulled an upset over UCLA. They caught UCLA off a big game against Oregon at the time. You know, Oregon had opened the season up with 13 straight wins, you know, thought was going to be the team to challenge, you know, Arizona in the Pac-12. And then, of course, they hit that slide. But they went to Oregon on a Thursday night, won a game that went right down to the final shot. So after that big win play three days later, I think the game was on Sunday instead of Saturday. They played Oregon State. They got ambushed. Does UCLA get their revenge uh, here against uh, Oregon State? Well, that's what we're going to find out. All right. Well, let's make it official. <laughs> this one is Ken's play. Hey, Mark, always trying to get the answer before. Like one of those kids that opens his Christmas presents on the 23rd. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, UCLA gets their revenge in a big way. Oregon State really not playing that well right now. And a, a team that I thought when they got Moreland back, they were going to be where they needed to be. And he's done his job. Eric Moreland's pounding the glass big time. In fact, in their uh, last game, had 11 points, 14 boards. Roberto Nelson still the leading scorer inside the Pac-12. He's right there with Devontae Lacey out of Washington State. So those two guys probably go down to the wire to decide the Pac-12 scoring 
championship. But Oregon State's a team that their defense is non-existent most of the time. They'll struggle. I like the way Cook plays. Brandt, solid, down low on the offensive side of things. But as far as clearing the glass, they don't do that great a job. And I think they're going to struggle big time at Pauley Pavilion. Again, Alford had it circled as soon as they lost the four-point decision in Corvallis. He's going to get revenge. He's going to take it out. And he's going to use all that depth that they have over there for the Bruins. And they got a ton of it. Kyle Anderson leads the way. He's the best of the bunch. You've got Adams, Powell, uh, the Ware brothers, Travis and David, both guys pretty solid. And then Levine, Parker, and Alford's kid, Bryce, pretty good shooter. He's got both kids on the team, but Bryce is the main guy off the bench. He can knock down those triples. So I look for UCLA to win this game handily somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 to 22 points. I know it's a lot this time of year, but again, Oregon State just not playing well. And when UCLA has revenge on their mind and it's at Pauley, you're going to see a destruction, demolition, destruction derby right there. And uh, unfortunately, the Beavers are going to be on the wrong side of it. So that's my play. Take UCLA. I got it uh, right around 14 is what uh, Chuck's power rankings made it. So I'm going to guesstimate it's going to be right around 14. Take UCLA, lay the points. All right. Great stuff, Ken. That's going to wrap up the videos for us this week. We'll be back next week. Well, let me rephrase that. The Tuesday crew will be back next week. The guy in the middle, Ken, will be here next week. Brian and I, we're going to be covering some spring training in Arizona. And when Brian covers spring training, we'll also be covering lots of beer. We'll be uh, keeping you filled in uh, from on the road next week when we're in Arizona. Ken will hold down the fort for you on the Thursday videos next week. Stay tuned all week long, pregame.tv. So you're going to say the... Uh...